Against the world. Mission start. Ah, uh, yes. This is the the mission where you have to travel between the three islands and take out a whole bunch of these blimps. And Dr. Robotnik is trying to stop you? No. No. He's in that giant balloon thing. Dr. I know who Dr. Robotnik is, but I don't remember him being in any blimps. Sure he was. Really? No, I'm making that up. Hmm. And they travel upwards, not forwards. And always backwards. Twirling, <laughs> twirling, twirling. See, you're mumbling again. Yeah, because I don't know the quote. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. If, if I'm mumbling, it means I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Frack, I'm... Fook, I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, These are my uh, twin, ooh. Fook you. Were the Austin Powers movies rated PG-13. R? PG-13. PG-13? Yep. Wow. You could say Fook you. And fook you. <laughs> fook me. So this first blimp I had some trouble getting to. What you have to do is you have to get to a position where you can easily glide to the blimp, hit it with that new power you just unlocked the uh, by pressing down on the D-pad mm -hmm. to take off the electricity shield on it and then kind of glide over to it flip the three switches that are on it and then that'll send the blimp flying off into oblivion oh wow. were you supposed to do that? no you weren't supposed to do that so there's a whole bunch of uh, oh, what are they called? those drones mm -hmm. flying around shooting missiles at you that show up as grenades mm -hmm. on your HUD for some reason and um so if you stay in one spot for too long, they'll definitely hit you. But anyway, and you if you get hit by that green gas, you go into that kind of weird, almost drugged, um, out. drugged out mode. It kind of reminded me of uh, Requiem for a Dream. Ah. Huh. Uh, not really, but kind of. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know what I'm getting at. But anyway... We're speaking of that, Cooper. so I, oh. I cut out the traveling. FYI, oh, nice! Just because it's kind of boring to watch me run from island to island. Mm-hmm. And so you were saying? Yeah. Uh, speaking of drugged out, Cooper showed me this new video on YouTube called like, "Drinking Out of Cups." Uh huh. Have you seen it? No. It's like, <laughs> I guess this dude was like on acid or something, right? And he's just talking for like maybe a minute about the most random things you could ever like think of. Uh huh. And his friend took the audio to that and like animated a lizard talking to it. <laughs> it's pretty funny. So. Huh. I'll check that out. Yeah. Drinking out of cups. <laughs> yeah. So. Alright. It's a good YouTube vid. Anyways, more Dr. Robotnik action. Doesn't <laughs> sure. it just seem like something... That he would do? That he would do. Dr. Robotnik's evil plan. Yeah, like some stupid plane with a tiny propeller that couldn't <laughs> actually power it. Cut man, or wood man. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh my god, so... Someone had a ridiculously funny comment about this character. I don't remember who it was, but... So this guy is like made out of electricity, right? And his mm -hmm. powers are all electricity. Mm -hmm. And all the enemies in this game use guns yeah. and rocket launchers and all that kind of shit. Uh huh. Imagine how powerful a team of children with super soakers would be. How oh. quickly they would fuck him up. Yeah. That'd be the most effective, <laughs> like, <laughs> boss in the game. Like yeah. a six-year-old with a super soaker. <laughs> ah. <laughs> You'd die instantly. <laughs> Yeah, anyway. See, I feel like it would be the reverse. They'd be the easiest to kill. You just touch their line, and then they're dead. Oh, like like the water coming out of their thing? Yeah. Like you hit that, and it kind of like shocks them, and yeah. gets sucked back in. Right. Because when lightning hits a pool, it kills everyone in the pool, not the lightning. 
or it doesn't kill the sky. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But when you jump into water in this game, you die. Yeah, that's why I think that's stupid though. It should just kill everything that's in the water. <laughs> but you are in the water, and you're made of electricity. Yeah, you're immune. So you're shocking yourself. No. Oh, you're immune to electricity. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, you can stand oh. on generators. And you're made of electricity. Yeah. That's a good point. So yeah, you should be killing everything that touches water. You should, there should be like water balloons that you shoot out and then touch the ground and kill everything. You know, I think it's time we went on the offensive. Now, I've managed to rig up an old police chopper with some surveillance gear. That should help us pinpoint the race sphere's location. 43 seconds. You sure that's gonna work? Look, I spent months following Kessler around, copying his notes. With the rig I've got on this chopper and you riding shotgun, yeah, we'll find it. Meet me by the old Ashford building in the historic district. 16 seconds. I'm on my way. <laughs>